But when we start talking about this pair four, I want you to visualize one thing, and I want you to visualize a corridor. And generally, at station four, your corridor is going to be bracketed by the distance stake. And this is the distance stake for our adjacent field over here. The skeet field that's over here to the right of us, uh, this is the distance stake for their low house. And our corridor is going to be bracketed by that distance stake and our center stake. And what makes the doubles at four so critical and so difficult if you don't play within these type parameters is that everything happens in this very limited area. Now, to start with, first shot placement, I'm going to have to place my first shot over that distance stake. Now, you'll notice that distance stake, again, for the adjacent field, is probably about 20 feet before our center stake. And I need to place this first shot over that stake if I'm going to have any chance of coming out of my transition turn and actually having sustained lead on my second shot. Now, here's why. Imagine that we're breaking low four, because I'm staying on this side of the field, and we're coming from station five, so we'll talk about the low house first pair first. Imagine I break low four over that stake. Now, put four feet of lead on that stake. Now introduce some follow through. We can see that if we break low four at that stake, with some fall through, by the time you get your gun turned around, you're already at the middle of the field. And guess what? So is high four. So another thing changes. Not only do I have to break this target precisely in this area, and I figure I have maybe a, a four foot window in which to place this target. It's that critical. Not only do I have to break that target in this spot, but I have to aggressively get into the turn, much more aggressively than I did at three and five, because those second shots are incomers. I have to aggressively get into this turn, and now, We've been talking all evening about shifting the eyes across the barrel and going and finding the second target. We don't have that luxury here. We don't have that luxury because high four is already at the middle of the field, and so are we. So we're going to break low four, run into the turn, and look straight up. And as we look straight up, we're going to find our second target, again, come out of transition, hopefully with sustained lead, and take this shot as it exits the corridor. Now we can see this is an outgoing target. Again, and most importantly here, we've showed this over the shoulder shot on three and five, but here's where we really want to notice the gun working within this corridor that we set up, those limits that we place between the distance marker for the adjacent field and our center stake, and how each shot is taken and the gun is controlled in that very limited area to give us a good, easy, sustained lead shot on both targets at four. Good foot position, hold point a third of the way. Eyes shift back. Pull. And we can see the first shot taking as it enters the corridor aggressively and immediately the gun turns up to the second target and high four is broken as it exits the corridor. And what some people <laughs> refer to as stacking the targets, which is something that I don't always look for, but if I, it, it looks kind of cool if it happens. But most importantly, it's that first shot placement. And that brings up another good point. A lot of times people ask me, where am I breaking the second target? Well, second shot placement is pretty much set up by first shot placement. If my first shot is placed well, my eyes shift and I control the gun, second shot placement takes care of itself. And we'll get into that even more deeply a little bit later. Now, let's take a look at this pair through the eye cam. Again, always being repetitious with our routine so that we do the same thing over and over again. Foot position. Hold point a third of the way out. Weight forward. I shift back, pull. And again, a good shot. Notice how the gun immediately goes into the turn after the first shot's taken. Let's see how that looks through slow motion. The hole point, the eyes come back, first target emerges, the gun moves immediately, gets a sustained lead, shoots low forward as it enters the corridor, immediately goes into the turn aggressively, looking straight up, finding the second target, coming out of that turn with sustained lead and not screwing around, taking that second shot as it exits the corridor. The key to this pair, as you've just seen, this is a very aggressive pair, the key is truly the first shot. We've got some leeway at three and five, we just don't have that margin of error here at four. So it's all about that precise first shot placement, the aggressive going into the turn, coming out of the turn and making an aggressive second shot.